three, two, one. Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Ben from the Be A Photographer channel. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about two things. One, my new camera that I picked up, which is the Nikon Z6 mirrorless. So I'm testing that out. I don't know how this auto focuses for video, so let me know. And two, we're gonna talk about how to edit multiple cameras together in video using the multicam feature in Final Cut Pro 10. So as you can see, we just quickly switched over to that camera. And if I move over here, we quickly switch to the Panasonic. And most importantly in this video, I'm gonna show you how to sync it up with an external recorder. So you can see that I'm wearing this lav mic here and the audio is coming from this recorder and the videos are coming from camera one, which is my iPhone, camera two, which is my Nikon C6, and camera three, which is my Panasonic GH5. So we have a lot of different things going on. You can see different cameras, different settings. You can even have different frame rates, which I don't recommend, but it doesn't matter what you filmed with. If you have something from multiple angles, like if your friends filmed something, you can piece that together really easily in Final Cut Pro 10. And then using the keyboard on your computer and the multi-cam feature, you can just click to swap between which camera angle you want and it'll automatically do the cuts for you. So let's hop into Final Cut Pro 10 and I'll show you how I just filmed this whole bit. So let's rewind it. Now that we're on the computer, I've opened up Final Cut Pro 10. I'm gonna show you the entire process. So the only thing I've done so far is imported the footage from the various cameras and the microphone, put them into one folder on my computer. Then we're gonna go into a new project in Final Cut. So I'm gonna do a new event and call this multi-cam testing. You can do this in 4K, 1080p, 720, whatever you want. Just to make it a little bit easier on my computer, I'm gonna do it in 1080p at 24 frames per second, 23.98. We can go into multi-cam testing and I'm just gonna drag these four files right into here. So you can see we have the iPhone clip, so I labeled that. We have the clip from the Panasonic, which is looking very gray and colorless because I filmed in Vlog, which is a very flat profile. And we have the Nikon Z6 footage, which seems to not be great with autofocus during video when I turn around. And then we have the lavalier mic. So first what I wanna do is sync the lavalier mic with the iPhone, as that's my main talking. You could sync it with any of them, it doesn't matter. But let's just grab the lav mic, grab the iPhone, and this is the important part if you have an external mic. So what you can do here is just under help, search for sync. You could also go to clip, synchronize clips. I just like using the help menu because it's a lot quicker for me. So I'm gonna say iPhone with mic. And you'll see this takes maybe five to 10 seconds. And now we have iPhone with mic. So you'll see if we play this with the clap. Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Ben from the Be A Photographer channel. And in this video, we're and that sounds really good. So that's awesome. Now we have that sunk. And so what I'm gonna do is take iPhone with the mic, Panasonic and Nikon, and then go into multicam. For this, you can either go to file, new multicam clip, or you could just go to the help menu, search multicam, tap down here select the size so this is going to be all cameras i'm just going to name it that and then you'll see in about 30 seconds depending on what cameras you're using it creates a multi-cam clip which you can see by that little four icon label in the top left so you'll see that it's black for the beginning and that is because i hadn't turned on all the cameras yet now how do we get the different angles super easy what you're going to do is go to view show in viewer and then hit angles and you can see now we have this viewer here at the top that has the three angles. So at first I just had the Nikon camera on, then second I turned on the iPhone so you can see the iPhone footage came in, and then the Panasonic, and if we look at where I'm here, you can see that that's in perfect sync between the three cameras, which is awesome. Now, real quick, before we start cutting, these top three elements, this is to cut just audio, so if you wanna switch between mics, if you have, let's say, two microphones but the same person, this is to cut just video, and this is to cut video and audio individually. So what I'm gonna do for this project is just keep it with the same audio. So we're gonna choose iPhone with mic as our main audio. And then we're just gonna change which camera, just the video for format and file, we choose by clicking this film strip right here. So you can see basically now I can play through. So let's see where I sync the cameras. And all I'm gonna do is hit the different angles. So if I hit two, it'll go to the Nikon. If I go to three, it'll go to Panasonic. So basically I can click through these and you'll see in the timeline in real time, it makes the cuts. So that is all you do. You pretty much put all the footage together. You can sync your microphone and one of the cameras if you have an external mic that you wanna use. And then you go through the footage, you watch and you hit whatever number camera. So I believe you can do even more than six cameras. Um, and for that, I'm not sure the exact keyboard shortcuts, but if you have, you know, let's say six cameras, all you do is you press one for this camera, you press two, you press three, or you can manually do it where you're watching and you can just click over here or you can click over here or you can click over here 
or you can hit the numbers on your keyboard. So it's totally up to you. Anyways, I hope this video helped some of you guys who are filming with multiple cameras. Keep in mind, an easy way to do this if you don't have multiple cameras is just use your phone and a friend's phone or your, your phone and your parents' phone or your phone and an iPad or your phone and a MacBook. It doesn't matter. You can use two cameras and get multiple angles and then edit them together very easily in Final Cut Pro 10. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Peace.